Today we're going to talk about how to add a Facebook pixel to a Wix website. Thank you and welcome back. My name is Matt Frederick and we are going through another Momentum Monday talking specifically how to add that Facebook pixel to a Wix website. So if you have a different type of website, please comment below and I'll make sure to you know create a video for that, whether it's Squarespace, WordPress, Weebly, whatever it is in the future. But today we're going to talk about Wix specifically with that pesky Facebook pixel that we've talked about many times before. Uh, so for this example, we're going to use my friend's website, brandywinepoloclub.com. We're going to be running some event ads where people can buy tickets and we're going to drive the traffic to an Eventbrite page that also has that Facebook pixel. Uh, but first, a quick tip for those watching, um, please also click the subscribe button, make sure to like, comment, share. Uh, we're going to be dropping knowledge every single week uh, here in the city of brotherly love of Philadelphia. All right, so the quick tip, make sure to download the Facebook pixel helper from the Chrome extension store. So Chrome extensions, and you want to go here and download the Facebook Pixel Helper because it'll let you know if you already have the Pixel and if it's working on that website. So chrome.google.com for the web extension store, Pixel Helper, you'll go here, Facebook Pixel Helper, download and rate that, pretty good ratings. Uh, you see that we use it here. And we don't have the Pixel on this yet, however, uh, what we're going to talk about is the next steps of actually activating um, that pixel and getting it set up. So first things first, let's go to business.facebook.com and we're going to choose our business account and ads manager account, which is the agency account here. Uh, from there, we're going to go into, and I'll make this smaller right here. We're going to go to all tools and we're going to go over to the events manager and then pixels. Uh, now we're helping a friend out here in regards to his account, so we might not be able to show everything, but we're going to show you how to get that pixel, how to set it up, and do all that good stuff. To create a pixel, all you have to do is hit add new data source and go to Facebook pixel. Uh, what you're going to do is name the pixel, so Polo Club, and then put the URL right here. Uh, so you're going to copy that and then create it. In this case, we've already created it, so we're going to go to the account, uh, and we're going to find the pixel we created, make sure we copy that pixel and integrate that with the Wix website. So in less than two minutes, we should have this all done. Uh, right here, we have we see the pixel that we've created. It's already had some traffic from previous events. All we're going to really have to do is copy this pixel, but what you're going to do is create the Facebook pixel, and then what you're going to do is go to partner integrations because some of these popular website building platforms like Shopify, uh, Magento, WooCommerce, uh, Squarespace, and Wix that you see right here already integrate with the Facebook Pixel and have a way that takes you through the process of setting it up so you really don't even need this video. Alright, so what we're going to do here, you see that we're in the Wix. Uh, it says that it's active. It's not active because the Pixel isn't on yet. Uh, so what we're going to do is choose Wix and we're going to hit get started. Now we're going to choose the pixel that we've already created. It should have this ID number associated with it. Uh, we're going to hit continue after uh, choosing that. I always turn on the advanced matching. Uh, it's turned on right there. And then we're going to the settings. So we're going to log into the Wix account and select manage website. So we're going to log in here. I believe and we're going to select the site and once inside it has moved around a little bit for Wix as to where you can actually um, you know add this pixel so once inside um, and I don't want to show any other information really but um, once in here there's a couple different things you can do and play around with and settings and marketing tools and all that but I'm gonna go into the website builder and I'm gonna to go to settings, tracking and analytics, jump back over in here so we can catch up with it, you know, logged in, go to manage website, go to dashboard, hit that button, continue, add new tool. So in the drop down here, you see tracking and analytics, click, click that, click the new tool. And I've actually never done this before. I'm setting it up for the first time. So if I can do it, you can do it. Um, and if you can't comment and tell me you can't do it, Put some notes below, comment below, and I'll help you out. So go to new tool, Facebook Pixel, that you'll see right here. Uh, new tool, Facebook Pixel, and copy and paste the Pixel ID. Bam, gives it to me right there. So we're gonna go in here. Uh, we're going to go to, click this button.
track campaigns and everything. Or it's telling us we can use this. Same thing. We're gonna paste it. We're gonna hit apply. There it is. Editor delete, turn on, turn off. That seemed pretty easy to me. Um, and what's it tell us to do next? Active, last received an hour. Well, I just turned it on, so I don't know how, how right you guys are about that. And verify your events in the events manager recommended. So you can test events. This is new to me, so I'm trying this out. Um, it opened a new page preview. It already has page data from us using it for the Eventbrite because you can add it to Eventbrite. All you have to do is go in your Eventbrite, go to manage for the campaign, go to tracking pixels, click Facebook pixel, add it there. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to go add the, oops, I don't know if we activated it yet. So I believe this should be saved in the back out a little bit. There it is, and it's working. So if we jump back over here, today set up 831, 831, create audience. Now we can create audiences and lookalike audiences from this, and we can create custom ver conversions if they go to certain pages on the website. We'll talk about that in a future episode, but now at least you know how to set up this new Facebook pixel for a Wix website specifically, how to test that out, how to know if it's working, um, we're going to have this all on the blog so you can follow through with all these directions and resources and screenshots and everything. If you have any questions, leave them below. Make sure you click that subscribe for all these future Momentum Mondays. My name is Mac. I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.